Welcome back everybody, today's a great day because I finished a few big assignments and it's been a while since a Puzzle and Dragon video, so uh, today we're going to make a Puzzle and Dragon video and it happens to be Godfest time and on top of that, it's the Chinese Godfest and I really want that Mei Mei. Um, I wasn't actually going to roll for this Godfest, but there's the Forest Gala at the same time and I could use some wood pieces because um, if you guys have seen the previous video, I have I have a max level Bastet and it would be cool to have more pieces for Bastet because she's she's actually considered one of the stronger leaders in the game. So I'm, I'm I, for this Godfest, I'm looking for Mei Mei, which she'll be in this Godfest. I'm looking for Vishnu because he has triple TPA now. I'm also looking for Perseus and Osiris and those guys I'm hoping to roll from the gala. Um, I know Perseus is tomorrow, but today... Uh, I'm only planning on rolling today and we're gonna roll for I'm saying maybe three three gold eggs today uh, But today is going to be Chinese and Indian too And then tomorrow is actually uh, the better day to roll because you're gonna get a lot some really good orb changes You'll have hero and Greco-Roman So uh, before we start rolling, let's talk about the changes that just happened in North America. So let's switch over here <laughs> Check this out. We have Krishna. Um, he has a new ultimate evolution and they changed his leader skill. We have uh, attack increases with one or more fire combos up to 4.5 um, when you match three sets. And then there's this interesting, interesting property to it. You have a 1.5 multiplier when erasing five orbs with at least one enhanced orb in it. Uh, which is really great for Krishna because you know he can generate by himself and his and uh, with a leader with a f uh, Krishna friend you can pretty much guarantee yourself a fire orb enhanced fire orb uh, sky falling so um, it I don't know if it really helps Krishna I mean the consistency is better because you start doing damage from the first match but um, Sarasvati uh, which is a card that I don't have I think this benefits Sarasvati a little better um, that five orbs matching, it it doesn't help with TPA. And for fire, I think you really want a TPA oriented team. With Sarasvati, I think she she has a little bit uh, better options with the water cards. But I mean, if, Sar if Sarasvati drops on me, I I don't know. I might consider using her as a leader just to just to play around. Um. So these two cards are in North America right now, but on top of that, for Indian 2, we're going to have Vishnu. And Vishnu is considered as a really strong sub, and it's the it's because he has triple TPA. Um, man, what else does he have? He has a skill bind resist, a skill boost, and a time extend. I absolutely love the time extends. Krishna, unfortunately, doesn't have one, but I think, I think Sarasvati has one. Uh, I think. Don't quote me on that. And then for day two, day two is going to be the day to roll for subs. Um, if you don't own any heroes or any Greco-Romans, um, those guys are absolutely amazing for mono-colored teams. Uh, I know that a lot of mono-colored teams use them. Um, right now we're in the process of uh, getting new alternate ultimate evolutions for the Greco-Romans, so that includes Apollo, Ares, Persephone, uh, Hermes, and Artemis. Right now we have ultimate evolutions for Apollo, Ares, and Persephone. And these these ev these evolutions are pretty interesting because I mean you they're 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 matched with unique colors. Um, Ares is like red yellow, um, Apollo is yellow blue, Persephone is purple and green, which are you know colors that you don't really run into. They're combinations of colors that are are you don't find very often but the the thing about these that kind of turns me off about it is is that their typing has also changed for example um, Persephone she's a primarily she's a her main type or her main element is dark right and uh, for the other ultimate Persephone her her type is devil so she can get multipliers off that devil because there are a lot of really good Dark Devil cards, but for her next evolution, she's a god and healer, and uh, that could mess with some uh, multipliers. 
but I, I think she'd still work really well with the Durga team. So you have to watch out for these, these typings, it might be a little bit off, but the colors are really cool for maybe rainbow oriented teams, but um, these Greco-Roman gods are perfect for monocolor teams. And let's talk about heroes. Heroes have always been a solid option for subs. I mean, they they change orbs and their heart makers at the same time. Um, they all have bind clearing awakening. So, I mean, if you want to clear your whole team, you can use their active, make a whole row of heart orbs, and that'll that'll clear binds by three, I think. And they always have that time extend awakening, which is my favorite awakening in the world because uh, the way I set up my board, it just requires so much movement. But that's my quick analysis on on these god fests. Oh my god. We're gonna roll for three. Three gold eggs. And hopefully we get a Mei Mei. Here we go. Ugh. Really excited. I'm, I'm a little bit sick. I'm trying to fight uh, a cold, so uh, I might sound a little weird today. But always down to play some puzzle dragons. Ugh, rub the belly. Pull. Gold egg, please. Ah! Oh, it hurts. Oh, what is it? <laughs> uh, uh, Dragonite. This guy is, is not helpful for my team. Alright, let's roll again. Three gold eggs. I need something from the forest, Gala. I could use Osiris per uh, Perseus. <laughs> no. Uh, who's this one? <laughs> Sleeping Beauty, that's what I thought. Okay. Wow. Okay, we had two silver eggs, the next one's bound to be gold, right? It's gotta be gold. Pull! Please! Oh my god! Oh, wow, okay. Is this, is this god fest right now? <laughs> we have Red Riding Hood. Uh, okay. Well, we'll keep going. I don't think I'm giving this this REM drag. Okay, go plus. What is it? Maybe. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, I'm screaming to my mic, and I sound terrible. But we got Maymay. It it must be the stash. It's my lucky Asian stash. No wonder why in like those kung fu movies you have those guys with those long stash. I don't know how they do it. I've been growing this. For like two months, this is as much as I can as I can grow, and I know some dudes that can grow this in like two days. So it's and more. I mean, because I can't even. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. So I have my fourth Mei Mei. Holy cow! Check this out. I'm in the process of uh, evolving some Mei Mei's. I have one. If you look at the top of the screen there, I have one awoken Mei Mei. But then um. I'm working on these two at the top here, and finally, wow, I got a Mei Mei! <laughs> I don't believe it! I actually don't believe it. Where's the other Mei Mei? Uh, uh, she's in here somewhere. Oh yeah, she's at the bottom. Yeah, there she is. Bottom, or top right there. Wow! Yes! High five! Yes! <laughs> That's so awesome! Okay, okay. We're on a roll here. I could do with like... Hmm, who should it be? Vishnu? No, Osiris would be awesome. Perseus would be awesome. Uh, now, <laughs> now we're rolling for uh, Bastet. Bastet teams. Because my Bastet team is a little bit lacking, but Bastet's awesome to play. I, I played with her like a few dungeons and she's she's pretty awesome. Alright, okay, we're giving it some love this time. Uh, some head, rub him in the head, the tummy. Pull! Come on! Yes! Gold egg! What is it? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Strawberry dragon. That's okay. I got a Mei Mei. I got a Mei Mei. I don't even know if I can I can sell these guys for um, uh, those MP. I forgot what they're called. Monster points. So you can buy that Shiva dragon. I don't know if those guys are worth any points. Man, this is turning out to be a lot more rolls than I expected. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we got the Mei Mei. Gold egg. All right, that's the third one, yeah. Krishna. Ah. Oh. I don't need another Krishna. Oh boy. 
Where is it? Where is Krishna? How, how many Krishnas do I have? Let's see, I have- I know I have one at the top. And then I have a second one at the top right. So yeah, that's my third Krishna. Maybe I'll eat that for uh, monster points. There you go. Rolled, um... Five times. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. And those are my three gold eggs at the very end. We have Mei Mei, yes! Mei Mei, Strawberry Dragon, and Krishna, which is uh, something I wasn't looking for, but that Mei Mei kind of, that kind of does it for me. Wow, that's awesome. So, uh, I don't have anything in the 11th slot, do I? Oh yeah, I have a Durga. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, that's my Bastet team. Dude, it's gonna be, here we go. It's going to be Zuo, right? This is... Oh, I can't wait to work on this team. I don't know if that's... Yeah. If Zuo and then four Mei Mei's. Check it out. One, two, three. Yeah, where's that last Mei Mei? Four. Oh, oh, the dream is real. Holy smokes. Well, I'm going to work hard on this. And you know what that means? Um, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I don't know what time, but I'm gonna put it in the comment section once I figure out timing. Um, so, hey, please join me on Twitch. I'm on twitch.tv slash TylerPad, Tyler P-A-D. Come join me, come subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Um, so, I think if you subscribe, then it'll send you an email when I log on. And because I'm in Scotland, uh, the stream times may be, may not be as often because um, right now it's 6 p.m. here, but I know like in the States it's it's way early in the morning. So um, we'll, Once I return back home to the States, we'll do some more Twitch streams, but uh, yeah tomorrow. I'm pretty free. I got those assignments done. We're gonna We're gonna farm for May May materials May May leveling up fodder um, I'm, I'm also looking for wood peas I know that they're going to get skill boosts, or skill ups in the future, but, you know, I don't mind farming up a little bit, it's going to be fun. I, I want to improve my orb matching, I feel like it's been a little rusty lately, so, um, farming for wood peas definitely will help with, uh, uh, practicing orb matching. It's so easy to, to fall out of practice with this game, so, wow, I got that Zuo team, that's amazing. <laughs> Well, anyway, if you guys have, um, if you guys don't have any hero gods or Greco Roman gods, I highly recommend rolling tomorrow during that god fest. It's it's a really good time to roll. Um, day one is more for leaders, but right now Egyptian gods are just so strong. So um, I would, if you're looking for a strong leader, I would save your stones for an Egyptian god fest. Uh, right now, I just rolled just because I really wanted a, a Mei Mei, and I got one during a Forest Gala too, so I don't know if it's because of the Chinese God Fest or the Forest Gala, but we got her, yes! Oh, so amazing. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, stopping by, playing some Puzzle and Dragons. Let me know what you guys rolled, I am dying to hear what you guys rolled. And uh, come check me out tomorrow. I'll put I'll put I'll put a time in the comment section, and uh, we can hang out. Come ask me questions and we'll play some puzzle and dragons together. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Love you guys. <laughs>